Hi, welcome to Cajun Toy Review. Today we're going to be looking at another one of the Tiny TV classics. This one is the South Park one. Uh, so far I've looked at two of the previous ones. Um, the 1960s, 70s version for the Batman. You can see a previous review for that. And we've done the... This one I was going to say. The Millennials, this is the 10,010s till now. Uh, these last two are basically called the same thing, but this one is the Friends version. And now we're looking at the South Park, which is considered the 90s version. The only one that we have left after that will be Back to the Future. You know what they say about saving the best for last. So, uh, I'm, I love these little things. There's four of them. These are going to be all of them. Uh, I started with just one out of, and now look where we're at. So uh, I think they're really fun. They're cute. They're 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 just cool. So let's get into it. Let's talk about this little TV. Check it out, and uh, let's see. So I right, got that open box in here. Each of them kind of got a little different theme and a color with it. Uh, these are going to be clips from season one, the original season of South Park, which came out in 1997. Um, I, I was a freshman when it came out. I remember South Park being like so bad and so crazy. It was like a really naughty cartoon. Uh, we had like Beavis and Butthead before that. And South Park is still so current and like, you know, uh, it they tackle current events all the time and it's so relevant and stuff like that. And it just got renewed for several more seasons and stuff like that and like has no signs of ever stopping. Um, these kids will never make it out of, into high school, <laughs> I guess, but... Uh, you know, it's kind of like The Simpsons, they're stuck in time, but hey, it's hilarious, it's funny. Uh, I'm a fan. So, um, the whole South Park animation was pretty rough. That's when they used to censor out the cursing and everything. It wasn't until, like, after the movie had came out where we started getting just uh, full-on uncensored South Park. So, uh, this is a nice little time capsule of that era and that time, uh, and the TV is part of that. So, uh, looking outside the box, we got... Uh, we got a picture right here with uh, this classic, you know, oh my god, they killed Kenny. Um, on the side, we got Kenny uh, with his dead form, with his arm hanging out, his ribs sticking out, his brain showing, and stuff like that. Uh, on the back, you know, once again, we got season one. We're working remote. Here's the other TVs on that set. I like the back of the TV, you got all these RCA and uh, AV cables and stuff like that. No HDMI. But anyway, uh, Cartman, beefcake, beefca beefcake. Um, so, not much more to say about that. Uh, UPC, I'll put a picture of it in there. So, uh, if you're looking for it, you can get it. So, not much more to say about that. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up. This one I'm going to wind up tearing because I realize I don't have a box cutter. And uh, I'm not going to do a cut. And I'm not keeping these boxes, so... So like all of these, they kind of come with their own little background and stuff like that, uh, which you can use to put the TV on. This one is going to be Cartman's living room. Let's go ahead and get this TV out of there. So here's our tiny TV, and this looks like it comes straight out of South Park. Uh, just, I had a TV, uh, a stand almost just like this uh, before. We used to have my Xbox and everything under there. This was before we had, I had children. We can actually have stuff open and exposed like that and not worry about 30 discs being put inside of your Xbox. Um, so let's check it out with the just the demo. So I'm only going to do three bit, three demos on there. Alright. Was Mr. 
Mr. Hinky in season one? I thought Mr. Hinky came out a little bit later than that. I'm not too sure. So that's the three little demos that you'll see if you try it on in the store. Um, go ahead and pull that tape off. Pull off that tester. Get that tape out. Alright, I'm try the remote. Uh, I think I'm going to have to restart it because that's been the way with the first two so far. So let's see if the remote does anything. Hold it down. Nothing. So I'm going to do a restart on it. Uh, I kind of suggest that because that was my experience with the first two so far. So I did a restart. Alright, so no, I am not correct. So we're going to turn this on. Let's check it out. I said I wasn't going to do a cut, but I did. I wanted to get a little bit better lighting for you guys uh, and a little bit closer image of the TV and stuff that we could look at. So we're going to kind of continue on there. I want to make sure the Back to the Future one is top. So. And there's our volume indicator on the screen again, which is awesome. We'll skip the intro since we've already seen it. but. So that's this is the second clip. I'm just kind of jump and see the channel indicator. We'll just flip to the next channel. Just kind of see how many clips we got. It should be 12. Mecha Streisand, wow, okay. Alright, so we are on clip five. Okay, so that's the same episode. There's so many great episodes, but they need, most of them are later seasons. Seems like it's actually two episodes, maybe. Mr. Hanky and... Okay. So far, I'm not overly impressed with the con the clips that we have. Um, Channel 11, so we got one more after this. Yeah. Right, make last channel. Yeah, that's me. There we go. That's it. 11 channels on this one. So, um, go on, mute you or pause you. Oh, just a nice mute. So out of the three that I've done so far, in my personal opinion, this is the weakest. 
I like the TV a lot and stuff like that. I, uh, I love the kind of CRT, CRT version of this and stuff like that. But the clips are uh, just how great South Park got in like the second, third season, something like that. They could have had some other great stuff. Uh, these are all seems to be from like two or three episodes. The Halloween episode, the Mr. Hanky episode. Um, and I don't know. But um, yeah, it, it, it's cool. It's definitely cool for a background having it in like a diorama and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. I feel like it's a lot of the same stuff that we see. We see Mr. Hanky like maybe three times, four times on there. Uh, we get Kyle's mom's a bitch twice. Not more so it's yeah that's not very uh i don't know i'm not in, overly impressed um but looking at the rest of the tv i mean it is nice it, it's really really cool it's got that big giant crt thing uh i used to have a tv that looked almost just like this uh well almost everybody did but uh I mean, we went to like a halo land party one time and um i carried my big old ass tv like this and i remember this guy i knew he was one of the first people who had a flat screen he had brought it with him and like everybody was just like staring in awe like like what is this uh but yeah uh as for the tv i mean this will look great in like you know an, uh the ninja turtles lair or something like that or, or or something in an apartment like a little setup if you want but it's also just a cool thing on a desktop or a shelf um if you're a big south park fan then yeah definitely get it um but on the back, you can kind of see we got our spots for like our different uh, our coaxial and our AV cables and stuff. Um, all those vents some TVs used to have because they would get so hot. Where you speaker and you vents on the top, you know, you don't want you to put your hand up there. You can make your grilled cheese up there. Uh, I do like the stand a lot. Um, you know, it's really cool. Just a bit of, put like a, uh, now these um, remotes, all of them can be held on the back. So this one will just pop right into this right here. And you can kind of have it on there like that. Um, but I mean, it, it's it's cool. Uh, if you if you if you're a South Park fan, yeah, you'll love it. If you just want to get one of those little tiny TVs. Now, content wise, uh, I pre I even prefer the Friends one over this, just for uh, being more a little bit iconic for me and stuff like that. A little bit as an adult. Um, but here's all three of them together. So what we have so far. And they all look really cool. I mean, these are different eras, so you know, uh, this is before my time. Uh, this is the TVs I remember, and you know, this looks like a, a DS, but <laughs> uh, I remember the, these kind of like this one, like that as well. So, uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. You know, um, check out the other videos. Check out the ones for the Batman and the Friends. And next, we'll be doing Back to the Future. So, um, stick real clue, and that'll be up probably tonight. Um, Thanks for watching this. You know, if you're a first-time viewer and stuff like that, for, thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, check out some of our other content. Uh, we have, I just got this toy box out of storage that's been sitting, uh, stored away for over 10 years. So it has toys from me and my brother in there. Uh, and I peeked in it just to see, and it's full. Like, I didn't take anything out. So uh, I'm going to be doing a, a, a opening of that and taking everything out and kind of looking at it. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, that'll be up very soon as well. Uh, check out our Facebook. Uh, we got links for everything on there as well. And um, like I said, if you like it, please leave a like, subscribe. Thank you for viewing. Hopefully, see you in the next video.